What amount of gold defense coming from? 3,000. That's a lot. Yeah, and... Oh, it looks like Aatrox is chasing down. Oh, but are they gonna catch this Corky? Corky's in a really bad spot right now. He does have his W up though. Dox is taking some damage. Yeah, but is that throwing in that W? Oh, and they do smite it over the wall. That whites. That white though. Oh, and the flash from Kafka, but Aatrox gets an amazing sundown, and he's gonna go down to Morgana, and the AoE from the blue team is showing right now. They do take out Zyra, but Brand is gonna take out Leona also for, oh, that's for the blue team. The snare, oh, oh the snare hits Corky. Beautiful. So good. That was a really nice snare, especially in such a crazy and clumsy fight. To still see the opportunity to throw in the Morgana snare like that and hit it on such a high priority target like Corky. It's very impressive. Very impressive. And they all live. Um, Aatrox, he really died to keep it. He got a really good stun up. Like, he knocked up, I think, three or four people. But at the same time, he died instantly. He didn't even have his passive up. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing with Aatrox. He doesn't have his passive up, and he uses Q to dive in like that. I mean, it's pretty risky. It and is. Sure, it's nice, but if you're going to do that, he better hope that the Leona can follow up with her ulti right after. And then the Malka will come in with the snare and then pop the salty the second after that. Or else he will die just like that. Yeah, I, that, that's why um, I was saying before, I don't really like Aatrox top. I don't know. But like you said, there's that cheese, right? Yeah, he does have that cheese. I mean, he can be very strong, but yeah. I mean, in this new meta... It's, it's totally it's different. different. Yeah, it's totally different. It's always going to be someone helping you, holding your even, hand. Yeah, it's not even a 1v1 top anymore. It's literally 2v2 top now. Yep. So I can't wait to get home now. Like, I want to play some double AP. Do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty cool, huh? It looks really fun. Yeah. I mean, okay. Kuni's ADC now. That's true. So, blue team's pushing into the second turn, and they have no response for it. The purple team is not in the right position, but blue team's going to back off as they see the Aatrox and Corky coming around. And with the Morgana shield, Olaf's going to try and go in. Aatrox does have his him. passive now. Yes, he does. So if he goes in for that ballsy Q and hope that his team follows up, even if they're a bit late, he has the passive to rely on. Yeah, and they're gonna go deep in onto this turret. I don't know, Purple Team's in a really weird position right now. Oh, they get the snare no. off on the Aatrox, and they're gonna... Oh, oh my goodness. So much things coming out right now. Dogs and falling uh, at least gets it, and the passive goes down, but he's not gonna be able to survive nice, from this. Nice, nice, nice. Amazing stun by Brand. That was a great stun by Brand. Yeah. He timed it perfectly. I feel like Aatrox, that whole time, he really shouldn't have been in that spot. Okay, Maokai going in onto Zyra, but it's not really gonna do much. I, again, he's cute. in another bad spot. Corky's Q is just flying around. I mean, <laughs> that new Q, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you hitting on the Corky's Q? It's just so bad now. Oh, and Zed? Whoa, look how far Zed is. I didn't oh even see God. this. Yeah, I didn't see that Zed either. Zed is deep in the ball lane right now. There's too much action mid that no one even noticed. But Elise is really fed right now. She's 5-3 and three with 3 assists. She's pretty tanky. Even with that, I still feel like the brand, or rather the Zed, can maybe kill her. Yeah? She's tanky, she does have a lot of armor, actually. But I don't think she'll be able to kill the Zed. And if anything, I think Zed can kill the Elise, if anything. Yeah. But it looks like Zed is backing because he does see the, the blue team is coming around from the rapid about the bush. And uh, they're gonna just, I guess, try and regroup. Like, their best bet is to wait until all their cooldowns are ready, which it does seem like they are. They just need to wait on the Zyra ultimate, and then they can go again and seize turret. Just yeah. keep sieging because the fact is, if Purple Team tries to dive in on them, they have so much to respond for that. Yeah, well, like we saw in the first game, the comp that the blue team is running is heavily reliant on engaging team fights, winning it because of their just mass AoE, and then pushing in for the turrets or an objective such as Baron, Dragon, something of the sort. But they are looking for the team fights, and every time a big team fight has erupted, I feel like the blue team has almost always come out on top. So maybe. The purple team, what they should start doing is, I think what they're doing right now, actually, have the Zed split push. Zed is one of the best split pushers, because he's just so good at 1v1ing. Yeah, and he's Ol really good at getting away, too. Yeah, only person that could potentially stop him, I think, is Olaf. Okay. Because he's just another very good 1v1er. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I, I mean, that, that could be what they need. Like, we saw before, Kha'Zix was the split pusher in the other teams, and that worked extremely well. He was the, the 1v1-er, he was the assassin, and now Zed is kind of doing the same thing, but we see blue team right now 
doing the exact same thing that they were before. They, they're right at the turret. One thing that's happening is that the Zed is converging back to the middle lane to try and cut off the blue team very, very quickly before the least is even close to it. The blue team realizes this and they're actually walking straight to the Zed. Oh, they're the the of and they're engaging straight on this. Malcolm gets a nice ultimate and Brand also going down. So much stuff going down. The Zed is backing away. The Korg gets the kill onto the Morgana, but the Brand returns with the Malcolm. So far, one for one, but the Zed dies to the all out. Two for one so far for the blue team, and the Aatrox has to escape right away because he has no passive. I want to point out the Zyra ultimate was so well played. That was beautiful, yeah. That, that wasn't really a good spot to fight because the CC that um, blue. that blue team has is, is so reliant on the area that they're yeah, in. Yeah. And since they're around that small corner, the Zyra ult just ended up toning out everyone and, yeah. and just knocking everyone up. And then Brand threw in his ult team. Exactly. Brand threw in her ult team. Oh, but Leona diving in right now and she is pretty tanky. And the beast is there too to respond with it. They're really low. They have to back out on this. But Aatrox is coming. And oh. he gets a really good knock up on oh, the oh. But Aatrox going down to one for one. Morty killing the Olaf. Oh, oh the snare and the Aatrox. Oh, he got him. He's up on the quirky. Oh, he got and him. He's the kill. And he oh, he's on the wall. The and he, oh, the tick tick. Woo. Oh, and it does go down. And Leona is deep into the fight. Wow. So Purple Team, they get two for three. Pretty good. That was. I like that engage from the red or from the purple team. They definitely took advantage of just the overstay of the blue team. Yeah. They stayed way too long. They, did. they got a few kills from it, don't get me wrong, but I think purple team did a really good job. Oh, oh and Morgana flash. flashing in. Oh, and Morgana gets pre on the all team. Oh, but Zed is going in and so is Leona. The Sonya goes up, but Sonya is going to save him. Wow. That Morgana play it was beautiful because one versus three. She was able to stop them from getting the turret, the first middle turret. As we've said many times, middle lane is very important yep. in terms of securing the turrets. Yeah, and they still have that first tier, yeah. like you said. And she was able to stop it against three people by herself. Yep. That's pretty impressive. And pressure is what blue team needs in this comp. They need pressure. If they lose pressure, it's going to be really hard for them to try and dive in on a team that's ahead. So the fact that they're, they're keeping that mid turret, it's really good for them. Yeah. So it's actually going for the Baron. Now the question is, oh wow, that's a sapling. That was a beautiful sapling. <laughs> sapling to the tree. Nope, not enough. That was a little too late, I guess, because no one was able to react. But that was still a pretty good sapling. Just flat out on instincts. And you saw them do the Baron. Unfortunately, couldn't react to it. And that was a really nice pickup actually by the blue team. Yeah, and Elise is actually a really good person to do Baron with. She does she does a lot of damage. Well, she has a spider form and her Q in yeah, the percentage the damage. Yeah, yeah. Because she can be in human form for the first half HP, yep. and then switch to Spider, and then Q for the second half HP. Yep. So it's it's really good. Yeah. And as you saw, they got it fast, even without the AD carry. He's the Olaf also. Olaf, Olaf too, yeah. Olaf, Olaf yeah. And what's Olaf building? He's got a got Sunfire Hydra. and a Hydra. See, actually, I like the items. Yeah, I do too. To I do too, yeah. For sure. He's he's so tanky he's right tanky. now, and now he does a lot of damage. He lot. And he has the ability to split push, <laughs> if he wants. it. He still gives him like, I don't know, 40 AD or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're pushing up mid lane. This is what they need to do. They need to keep the pressure on to purple. Uh, Zed, as you saw, like as you said, Zed is just gonna split push bottom. But yeah. at the same time, they're they're just gonna take this. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the best way to respond. Instead of responding by going down to the bottom lane and stopping Zed like that, you just push in middle. You're like, all right, you know what? We'll push faster than you. You can't engage on us. You're down a champion. And exactly. Even if you're up a champion, you know, five v five, we're still probably gonna beat you. Oh, okay, and Olaf running in, just Zed's scaring them a little bit. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, Zed is there, so their best bet right now is to stop any back they try to do. Yeah. If they can stop these backs, then Zed can yeah. potentially push into that and maybe get the intake. They're pinging the Zyra back in. I don't think they can make it. Oh, they made it. Oh, nice. They get the kill on the Zyra. This is really good right now for the purple team. Elise is coming in, but like you said, I mean, can he 1v1? Doctor, yeah, I think he can now. Doctor is really, because he got the Sunfire now, so not only is he super, super tanky against armor, but he has a Sunfire that just gives him that more damage that he may just require to deal with someone like a Zed. Yeah, so Zed not being able to get that in him, which kind of sucks. Um, Blue Team did get the in him. He got the turret. He got the turret, it's which is, bad. it's really good. It's not bad. It's not a bad... It's not as good as it could it's be. It's not as good as it could be. And Aatrox diving in, he's taking so much damage right now, but he does have his passive up, so he's gonna pop up from that. And Malkai's in deep, 
but oh, the ult comes from Zed, and he is going to oh. nuke down the Ola, and the... Oh, no! Oh, he gets a really good the snare! Dog snared, Both man. of them do! They get double oh, snared, and they are going to take down the purple team. <clears throat> wow, okay, so Morgana got the snare onto Corky, and then from the... Oh, no, 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 Morgana got the snare onto Leona, and then from the back, at least got the snare yeah. onto Corky. So it really just turned around that fight. So one thing that you said before, Olaf, his W is really good now. That just showed it. He was literally destined to die by the penalty. Yeah. He auto-attacked with the W. He got a huge chunk of life back. Yeah, that's crazy. It was crazy. just barely enough to survive. That's crazy. And now they're pushing in. But actually, the team's up in... Zed is up in three seconds. And Leona's up in four. So I don't think they're going to be completely able to finish it here. They are going to get down the turret. Valkai jumping in onto Morgana. Morgana still shielding it down. And they are just going to chase them out of the base right now. Yeah, so I mean, oh, it's gonna turn out really hard. And Leona got a nice one. This arrow's gonna come down. He's gonna get some people up in the air. With the Malphite's going pretty deep. All that's coming in. Full HP. He's gonna try and do this stuff. The Zed is walking with barely anything, but so far, all this HR has died for the Elise. And Morgana, of course, dead as well. With the Malphite, not looking like he's gonna survive that. All that will finish it off with his E. And uh, can they finish it here? It looks like it's their chance to finish it here, to be honest. <laughs> They, 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 it doesn't look like Cork can respond to it. Leona's gonna try her best. She's gonna stun the Olaf, but I mean, what the heck is that gonna do? It's Olaf. He's so manly. Oh my god, the brand is gonna get bested by the Zed. But it's not enough to kill him. Oh, it's not enough to kill him, so he doesn't even get the kill. Morgana's gonna close. be up soon, but it did buy them time. Oh, they're running around. Can he do the X? X no XPK for Vartu. No XPK. What are you trying, Varden? What are you trying? What? They're in a really good position out of this game. Damn it, Vartu. Do you think the uh, purple team has a chance to come back? I think so. Yeah? Yeah, I think they can come back. Okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> well, the purple team, as you can see, is behind a lot of gold. Yeah. They're behind a lot of kills. A decent amount. A decent amount of kills. They're behind turrets. Yeah. They're behind inhibitors. Inhibitors. They have no Nexus turrets. They don't have Nexus turrets. But I still think they can come back. Yeah, I mean, there's there's always hope. I mean, they have Zed. Zed's good. Passion's good, too. Yeah, Passion. Shout out to Passion. Everybody, go on Twitter, hashtag Passion. <laughs> hashtag Passion. Leona. No, but seriously, they have the potential to turn this around, right? <laughs> they have the potential. Okay, so, what do you think? We, we see this. We have Aatrox. Aatrox. What is he building this game? Oh, he's actually building carry this game. Unlike the last game where we had the uh, and that's the potential. Tank. That's the potential right there to come back. Okay, so blue team's gonna push down. It looks like this might be the final push. I mean, they're very ahead right now. They're almost ahead. They're over 10k gold ahead. 7k gold ahead. They can still come back. No, they. The potential is there. Okay, so Maokai jumps in and Leona gets snared by Zara. That's an amazing snare, but the flash oh, comes in from Morgana. Oh, beautiful result. I thought you were going to keep going. Oh no, okay. Oh, beautiful repels by the least. He actually dodged the damage that would have killed him just in a matter of seconds. The Zed was not able to finish her off. And then he actually ends up getting... He ends up dying. And then the Corky and the Aatrox follow up very shortly and Barton... Boom! Comes in there. Gets the kill, and I still think they can come back. <laughs> no. Okay, GG. I still think they can come back. Double AP is too strong. No, they can still come back. It's not over. They can still come back? Not over yet. That's bullshit. <laughs>